Okay. Let's take a look at a little bit of the process and how to put together a, a newspaper for a small town. This is 24 pages. It's it's pretty small. It's it's a free newspaper in Cameron, Wisconsin. It's pretty much advertisement based, and uh, there are a couple of little. There's a few little articles in there, but it's mostly advertisements. It's put out monthly at about 1,200 each month. 1,200 uh, papers are, are distributed throughout the city each month. Um, now, there's uh, several uh, ways to put this together. I'm going to focus on a couple of examples here. A lot of the work can be done in InDesign, like for example, just putting regular words anywhere, it's its easy to do. Just click on the text tool and make a little text box and then add that uh, message in there. And, and in this uh, series of photos, that's pretty much all I did was add the text. And to uh, the pictures, those are easy to add. You simply go to the place option and then find your pictures and then you would place them in there, which I've, I've done. And you can shrink them um, with, there's a little uh, option to click the upper down arrows and, and shrink them down. Uh, systematically wherever you want then if you want to if they were too dark you could pretty much edit with Photoshop and I would send this right to Photoshop to be worked on and I've, I've did a, I've done a little work on it they were too dark in fact um, there's another photo uh, manipulating option you could do with Lightroom which is great, uh, but I wanted to do a little extra work. I wanted to lighten up the girls in this photo and make the wall a little bit darker. It's it's kind of hard to tell that, but uh, that's what I did. And you can adjust with a, it's called the adjustments. You can if the window's not up, you go to the adjustments uh, section and then choose it. So I have it up here, and I can choose brightness and. I, I pretty much I, I used the quick selection tool for the girls and then went around their, their shapes and then lightened them up and then left the, the background dark. And then when I was happy with uh, what, what I uh, did, I saved it and then sometimes it automatically shows up in InDesign. If it doesn't, I can always go back to that saved file. I can find it. I keep everything in a no, November f uh, folder. Just everything that's done, that's worked on, is is uh, is just saved to this folder I call November for this this month and then next month to be December. Last month was the month before October, and just saved everything that was worked on in here. Because InDesign pulls the pictures from wherever you're saving them, so uh, you don't want to move your pictures around a lot. Keep them in a consistent place, and then I can find it. Otherwise, you can get some errors in uh, printing. So, editing pictures is a Photoshop deal. Um, to but resizing them, it's InDesign. Um, putting a border around them is an is an InDesign thing and there's there's a it's called stroke and you can manipulate the the size I've been kind of choosing five and then you can round out the the borders with, with uh, option um, that's kind of neat round them out bevel or make them fancy whatever you want to do and that's that's a nice little thing it, it takes away that squared effect now that's that's for pictures picture I find that I do most of the work on photos with it, Photoshop 
if if there's a like an ad that has information um, that that's not ready for um, in, that I can't work on InDesign with, if it's like a photo type of ad that we're placing in, I'd have to send it. Uh, well, actually, in this case, I'm unable to. I would want to make a copy of this because I don't. Uh, obviously, I would automatically get the uh, photo edit uh, with Photoshop. I'd have to make a copy of this, maybe on another page, and then save it in the November file, and then place it over this one. Then I could send it to uh, Photoshop. And if I had to erase the hours that are open, I'd take the eraser tool and do that, and then save that, and then uh, replace it into the InDesign uh, for the for that particular photo. Um, but that's yeah. Most most of the words can be manipulated in InDesign um, with with just getting that contents out there as quick as you can. Like I I was able to raise the this new this uh, as a part of the. I mean this isn't the best ad, but I, I raised the new just to make it look different with Indes, InDesign here. There's a little. Um, choice that you can uh, move letters and, and words, whatever you want to uh, move, just so they're not in line. If you want something to look a little crazy, that's the way you can do that. I'm going to get to another, um, like, for example, to make this look kind of crazy, and it doesn't look like it's great it printed off great uh this open daily from 5 a.m to 10 um but <clears throat> I, i'm not able to do this wavy look in um in design and it's kind of a hassle to do on photoshop this is something i'd want to do on illustrator which i did because it, it focuses on the words better it just it makes the the transition a lot better so that's that's a um that that's an illustrator thing and i wanted to show another example for illustrator if you want to make your words look a lot more unique if i wanted to make my border look a lot more unique instead of just uh the focusing on thickening the stroke and rounding out the corners if i wanted like flowers as a border that's something i'd do on indesign more so that just makes it easier I believe there's just a simple little yeah right there like this go comets I found was easier to manipulate with Illustrator uh, because they actually have a tool that makes it so you can just straight right down so and I wrote I just type it in Illustrator and then saved it and then sent the file into InDesign and placed it, and that was it. It's like a little image that I yeah I can't. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not I'm not able to retype it. It's just it's an image from the Illustrator that you had put together. So um, there there's things that you just. Um, if you want to make it look, make your little newspaper look a little more fancy, you want to you utilize either Il Photoshop or um, Illustrator. Um, I use some different um, text here, which can be used from Defont. Um, they have some Defont.com has some neat stuff to play with. Um, I think that's. All I really wanted to say, yeah, I manipulated. I I rewrote this this AAM upholstery um, ad. I left the the logo, um, but erased everything else out with Photoshop, and then typed everything in with InDesign. So uh, that that should cover it.